Hello and welcome guys. This is LJ Liquid. I'm glad to see you back. I'm really excited about today's game. Uh, it's called Dolly and it is an artistic minimalistic platformer developed by MA Game Studio which is uh, located here in Auckland, New Zealand and currently consists of just one person. Blake Wood, who coded and designed all the art for the game himself. And what I find truly inspirational is that he developed the game while still being just a first year student uh, at Media Design School. And I hope that uh, in the future we will see more and more creations uh, coming from the students there uh, so that the whole world can enjoy New Zealand games. But without further ado, let's go and check this game out and I hope you enjoy the video. Okay, so um, it's our start screen and it already looks really interesting. I love the colors in this game. I've seen a couple of screenshots already, but I have never played it. I haven't played any demos or anything like that. And I'm not entirely sure if this is the um, complete product or if there's going to be more to it at any point. I know that this game is on Steam and that it was Steam Greenlit. So it means that probably we will be seeing more of it um, in the nearest future. But for now, let's just see what it has to offer at the moment. It says push uh, spacebar to start. Um, I'm playing it with a controller. So we'll just see if it's going to work with a controller. And it does. So um, this line gives me an idea that uh, we're actually in a hospital. It says, I understand how painful this is for you, but you need to give me an answer. It's the right thing to do, for her sake and yours. Okay, so I'm this little dude over here. I'm just gonna try and full screen the game. And it's not gonna let me full screen it, so okay, I'm just gonna roll with it. It's a bit hard to see. But it's all good, and probably I'm just doing something wrong, maybe you can figure it out. So cool, I can... I can jump off things to my death, which is cool. I was just wondering um, whether I could do this or not. Because this sort of um, shape of the head gives you an idea that, well, maybe the world has some sort of walls around it, but not. Okay, let's go. Okay, you can move things by just bumping into them. Man, the music in this game is really nice. Okay, what did I do? Oh, we can double jump and triple jump. Whoa. I'm not entirely sure how well this game is gonna work with me talking because it seems like a really spiritual journey in a way. And you can actually hear it with um, like this beautiful music happening. Um, but you know, you'll have to suffer from my talking. And if you want to play this game yourself, you're more than free to go and download it. And I'll leave the link to the download in the description. Um, I sort of I want to go down. Am I allowed to? I'm going left. Um, I can't go down. At least I don't think I can. Um, Okay. The sun is really cool. Oh. Okay, not to die here. What are we? Um, it's a an interesting looking character. Oh. Okay. So we're going somewhere. I'm not entirely sure what's happening. Because it seems that we started off um, in a hospital. Oh, okay. Note to myself, I need to avoid those things. Whatever they are, some sort of spikes. Um, how do I get in there though? Oh, yes. So I can climb the walls or obstacles like that. I can just jump off them. I wonder if this game has some sort of um, secrets you can sort of jump into, get more items or something, or if there's any items at all. Where am I? Oh, lost myself for a second here. Yay! 
Jump down. Don't die. Die. Jump, 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 jump. Okay. Got it. I'm... I keep dying. I'm not entirely sure how long this game is. So it might be a really short episode, but I guess it depends on how many times I die. And since I really love doing that, it might be a really long episode. I don't know where to go. Where am I? Okay. This game has a really um, sort of a Japanese vibe to it, just because of all the like circular shapes and the colors. Which I find really cool. Um, I need not to die. Oh. Okay. Come on. I need to jump, jump. Jump. Okay, I'm gonna get this. I promise. Oh, this is the hardest thing ever. thing ever. Okay. Um, how am I meant to do that? I think I know how. Jump, little man. Go. Awesome. Uh-oh. Oh, I don't like this. So the music changed and I'm not sure what's happening. And my character is really tiny on my screen. Which might be my fault. Um, do I just need to jump? Uh oh. Not sure what's happening. So we're meant to go up there. Jump, little man. Okay. Music in this game is really cool. And it's not really um, like nice and innocent anymore. It's kinda you know that something's about to happen. Oh Okay. We can do it. Uh This music is really sinister. Uh, am I meant to? Yeah, I'm still going up, I guess. Going up. And up. Um, I wonder if I should be looking for secrets. Okay. And I'm actually not sure if I'm going into. Like in the right direction? Do I go left or do I go right? What do you guys think? Left? Left it is. Okay, nothing here. I could possibly just jump down, but do I want to jump down? Maybe. Oh, oh that's cool. Okay. Off you go. It would have been easier to do this from the other side. But I'm not sure if we need both of them down in those holes. What about those guys? Do they do anything? No. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. What's happening? I don't know what's happening. And it looks like we just exploded the universe. Are we back in the hospital? Because I think we might be. Um, okay. Um, which way do we go now? 
That's another one of those totems. And I'm not sure if we can... So do you remember when we first started um, the first level? It had like a head shape, like a proper face looking thing, and now it's a skull. Okay, I'm not gonna jump off the platform this time, but we'll go here. Oh, 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 no. Okay, died. Keep doing that. Don't, don't die. Okay. Whew. It's pretty hard because of how tiny the platforms are. And because I keep talking dying. Okay, we can do it maybe. Whew. Um, no. I suck at this game. The next part is not gonna be easy. Can you see those spikes? I can see them. Uh, okay. Whew. That's done. My palms are getting sweaty. Oh, uh, oh, oh. No, 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 no. I don't wanna die. Are those... Don't tell me I have to start from the very beginning. This is not fair at all. Ah. Okay. Okay, okay. We got this. How do we do this? It would be cool if we could just go up. Can I just... Um, I'm still not entirely sure how to approach the next platform. This one with the spikes. I can't go up there. And let's try this again. You see, there is only a triple jump available to you. You can't really keep jumping uh, how you can in Telomere. Getting really frustrated. Ah, oh, so close. Um, so how can we do this? No, not like that. So it is impossible. What do you think? I'm pretty sure it is. Whatever I do, I just end up dying. that did you see that it only took me half an hour okay oh oh okay what am I doing here uh, not spikes again so this is a game about spikes spikes that apparently hate you a lot Where's my triple jump at? Ah, uh, I see. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Okay, okay, careful. Uh, go down. Whew. One, two, three, go. Oh, 
Oh no. Um, how do we approach this beast? What? No, 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 no. Oh, it's not fair. Okay, one, two, three, one, two, three. Oh, was so close. So, I have a feeling that this game actually shows you how hard it is to fight a disease. I guess because we're uh, in hospital. And we had that little uh, sort of dialogue or monologue. Um, and all those spikes and obstacles are representing things people have to go through while fighting um, fighting a disease of some sort. And we just died again and again. to do now is not to die on those spikes at the bottom, which might seem like an easy task, but it's not. I have no idea how to approach this, because I will die. Ooh! Oh, thank god. No spikes. This is amazing, I love this. Yeah, let's go up the snowy hill. This feels much more happier for some reason. We're black screening again, okay. So the speed has changed. I'm walking really slowly. Oh no. This is freaking me out, man. This is really sad. The music is sad and I can hear that sound again. I'm barely walking. Oh no! Oh my god! Did we die? That's really sad. It's a super sad game. Well, I guess we have to stop here. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching and going through this experience with me. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did, uh, hit that like button. And I hope to see you next time. I have something already planned. So looking forward to catching up with you next week. See ya! LJ Liquid out! Hey guys, sorry it's me again. I know I have already said goodbye, but I'm just having some afterthoughts about this project and I wanted to share them with you. So um, I'm just going through the start screen again, where it says, I understand how painful this is for you, but you need to give me an answer. It's the right thing to do for her sake and yours. So, um, and we know what happens at the end of the game when the screen goes black and the beeping stops and you sort of think that your character dies, but I actually think it's quite the opposite, so uh, you are playing as someone whose loved one is on the life support in the hospital and you have a tough decision to make about their lives, uh, like if you want to take them off the life support, so I think it deals with the topic of euthanasia. Uh, or like at least it's the feeling I'm getting uh, from playing this game and I would be really interested to uh, learn what kind of thoughts you were having while playing through this game so let me know in the comments um, and yeah thank you so much for watching again and um, I hope to see you next week LAJ Liquid out